A few weeks ago, I got to see a ton of incredible bonsai trees that I discussed in a previous video. Those really inspired me to do something else with them because I haven't done much yet. I didn't want to just make a bonsai though. What I'm imagining is a terrarium of sorts, but as you could imagine, it's going to be a little more elaborate than that. Anyway, a good place to start is with the trees. What I've selected are two Golden Gate ficus trees. These are what I was able to obtain, and they should work quite well for what I have in mind. Ficus typically appreciate humid environments, and should feel right at home in a terrarium. Humidity also encourages these really neat roots, so if I'm lucky, they'll make for an intriguing design long term. They look nice right now, but I'll do a little bit of work to fine tune their appearance. The main component that will make any of this possible is the container. As I considered my options, I felt it best to go with a cloche container. A giant one at that. This will make it easier to maintain the trees as needed, and it has a cool look to it. However, the base that this came with is not viable for the idea I have in mind. What I'll use instead is this modified planter pot. It originally looked like this, and as you could see the cloche did fit on top of it, but it was a little too tall. So I marked around the side for an appropriate height. I drilled a hole in the side and cut along this line with a jigsaw. It just so happens that the underside of the piece I removed is the ideal size for the cloche to rest in. This piece also fit perfectly into the top, as you can see here. I marked around it and cut off the excess so it fits flush with the top of the main bolt. Then I applied super glue along the inside of the top and set the new piece into it. It looked good as is, but I wanted it to resemble concrete. To achieve that look, I added a few coats of drylock. First with black, which acted as a primer. Then I went back with various values of grey and brushed it on to look like natural stone. Or as close as I can get it. Either way, I really like how it turned out. Finally, I drilled a few holes along the lip on the inside. That way when condensation drips down the side of the glass, it will fall down into the bottom instead of building up in the groove. After all of that, the container is ready to go. The adjustments I just made to this will make everything possible. Anyway, now I can get into the scape. The idea or vision I have in mind is to create a column or mountain in the center of the terrarium using gray elephant skin stone. This is a nice stone with a lot of cool texture to it, so I thought it could make for a cool layout. I experimented with a few formations to see what would work best. Once I found something that could work, I mixed up some aquarium epoxy. I used this to lock the stones together. I pressed it between the contact points and left it to cure. Now I have a stable and singular structure made out of elephant skin stone. I'll place this in the center as I explained earlier, but I need to create a platform or something of that nature in order to do so. I realized the solution was very easy. I simply placed a brick in the bottom of the container that the stones can rest on. I used some more of that epoxy from earlier to lock the brick into the bottom. I also used it to attach the stones to the brick. I let it sit to cure and now everything is quite stable. That means it's finally time to add the trees, and to do that I have a few components. First is bonsai wire, which I'll use to tie the trees onto the stones. I also have some substrate balls. I created these by placing bonsai soil into nylon fabric. Then I tied them off with zip ties to create little pouches of substrate. I made these because the substrate that the trees came with would not hold up in this environment. And as you can see here, I already removed all of that. So what I'll do is secure these under the trees where the roots will eventually make their way through the fabric and substrate. I fed wires through spaces in the rocks that I preemptively created earlier because I knew this is how I would attach the trees. Then I placed a substrate bag and tree over the rock. I wrapped the wire around the trunk and tightened it with pliers. This kept it firmly in place. I repeated this process for the second tree.
Once they are secure, I cover the roots with a paper towel that I sprayed to keep them from drying out. I went back and wired up a few of the branches so I could reshape the trees a little. I gently adjusted the branches once I did. I also trimmed off a few leaves and branches to make it look even better. I rehydrated some sphagnum moss, which I'll use to cover the roots. I replaced the paper towel with this and pressed it into all of the appropriate spots. And here we are after all of that. I like how it's turning out, the trees look really cool on this rock, and I got them shaped up pretty nicely. I'll definitely do a little bit more to them in the future, but overall I like how they look right now. I'll do more up in this area later, but for now I'm going to move down into the basin. I'll include a mini pump down in this area to move some water. I want to isolate it from everything else though, and I'll use this acrylic container to keep it separate. I drilled a few holes along the bottom so water could pass through the sides. Then I glued some window screen mesh over these holes to keep debris out of the pump vault. I locked this onto the back of the brick with zip ties. To fill in the majority of the basin, I'll use lava rock. I poured them in and evened out the layer. I'll cover all of this with aqua soil. This will create a good growing surface for moss to grow on and will add nutrients to the rest of the system. From there I added the pump. I secured its final tube to the back with wires. Once it was locked in, I added some water and let it rip. Now that the water is running, I can add the moss. I went outside and collected a few patches from my yard. I've selected hair cap moss and badge moss. I started by concealing all of the sphagnum moss around the trees. As I did, I made sure to leave the trunks of the trees exposed. Like usual, this really brought the setup to life and tied everything together. I went on to add moss to the bottom as well. I covered most of this area except for a spot near the front. I sprinkled in some limestone sand to create a path. I thought this was a pretty cool feature to include because it adds more depth and interest. After all of that, all I had left to do was adjust a few things and enjoy the finished build. And that completes the bonsai tree terrarium. I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. I think it showcases the trees, the moss, the stones, and everything else perfectly. Obviously, I had to kind of come up with all of this on my own. This base down here, it was really sort of a happy accident how that all worked out where the underside of it fit this cloche container perfectly. And getting the cloche container was a little bit of a hassle as well, but Overall, I mean, all the pieces, they just came together flawlessly, and I absolutely love how it looks. As I said earlier in the video, it's going to be an ongoing process to get these trees looking exactly how I want. That said, I do think they look a lot better than they did whenever I originally got them, so that's definitely a plus, but I'm still learning about bonsai. There's a lot that goes into it. Uh, probably I'll change things a little bit over time, and I'm just curious to see how all of this pans out long term. I have worked with various ficus trees in the past, using them in similar environments as this, and they've turned out pretty well, so I have no doubt that these will definitely thrive in this environment, and I'm excited to see how they fill in, how they grow in, how the moss takes off, all that sort of thing. 
There's definitely more that I could say, but I think that's a good place to end this. I really like how it turned out, but I want to know what you think. Let me know down in the comments, and as always, I hope you all enjoyed the video, learned something new, and until next time, take care and peace.